hello and welcome back or if this is your first time flying with us uh welcome uh we are going to do some sketching today in this already overflowing sketchbook usually it doesn't happen this fast but i think being i shouldn't say forced since like a hostage situation but drawing in it for like four hours straight for the live stream definitely helped um, not that it's a race, I really don't think it is. So yeah, we are just going to keep filling in the gaps and working on this little project. Uh, before I forget, because I will forget, um, I am selling stickers. Some of you guys have already found it, you sneaky people looking at my public posts on my public accounts, but I've got these party animal ones, as well as my motivational do not die stickers because I hope you don't die. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's just sealed here on GoBuy if you would like to buy some stickers, uh, or if you just wanna toss a coin at the art adjuster and watch me dance, um, that too. I'm not actually going to dance, but I'll keep drawing. <laughs> uh, so let's just go ahead and get started. Um, I think we're gonna start. I wanna do another layer. Ooh, that was a bad texture. That was a really bad texture. Um, on this page because it's very springy and I feel like it needs a little bit of a brighter yellow happening on top of this kind of ochre color to tie in the daffodils on this page. This is a picture I took of a mama bunny last spring. Which, God, I am so happy that it's warming up. It's always just like the best, most magical feeling when it starts like to smell and feel like spring and you can hear like the frogs and the trees again and. I don't know, I just, I love it so much. <sighs> and seeing all the hyacinths blooming and the crocuses, which I saw a yellow crocus for the very first time the other day. I was uh, walking with one of my best friends and we had just kind of been like hanging out and he was like, hey, that's a crocus. And I was like, no, no, those aren't yellow. Those are purple and white. But yeah, it was gorgeous. Actually, I drew it um, on the other side of my figure drawing studies which is right here. But yeah, I, I just, I really like seeing all the flowers and I'm so excited to see the leaves and the trees again. Do you guys remember green? <laughs> I miss her. <laughs> all right, yeah, I think I like, I like this. I kind of like how it looks like it's almost glowing. I don't like what's happening up here. It looks like a freeze frame from like a warrior cat music video, which is awesome in its own respect, but I don't think it really matches the vibe of the rest of this. I could possibly put another one of my pictures over here. I feel like I've really been wrapping my photography lately. I'm making everybody look at things. Oh, these sheep. Um, so back when I used to live like in the country, um, we had a neighborhood sheep and I used to take my longboard out there when I didn't have much else to do. And I would longboard down like this back row that was slightly less gravelly than the other ones. And sometimes when the sheep were out there, if you started skateboarding down, they would all start running in this giant herd. And like, I just have such like a vivid, fond memory of like skating down there. Like the sun is setting and there's just sheep running. I just, oh, I, I do kind of miss that sometimes. <laughs> it was, it was really fun. Also really scary. Longboarding's really scary. I don't know why I ever did it. Cause like it freaked me out. I never fell because I was so overly cautious and would stop every time I got scared. <laughs> But it was, it was still really fun. I, I'm excited to get back to it now that it's warming up. I'll figure that out. Well, maybe, maybe this um, garden magazine has something for me. That's pretty. You gotta be careful because sometimes these things can get a little bit trad wifey with the aesthetic. See, I don't want you to be in there. I love your trellis, but I don't want to put you in my sketchbook. Ooh, maybe like the tomato plant. It's kind of cute. I like that. I think it's a good plant. It is tomato plant o'clock. I am a tomato girly. I love a good tomato. I love a good heirloom tomato. I love a fried tomato. I love a tomato on an egg sandwich. That is probably like one of my most consumed foods ever. <laughs> Big fan. Okay, let's see, that works, you can deal with that. Yeah, I think that's, 
and I, I like that it's not like this is like thick photo paper and I feel like having it on both sides makes it a little bit distracting so this works out perfectly it all works out yes <laughs> all right I don't know about you guys I'm in college so I'm gonna say semester but I'm sure average people who are out of school or in other type of school might be feeling me. I am like so ready for this semester to be over. There's so much homework to do all the time and I'm simply not feeling it, but we're still kicking and you're still kicking too. And I'm proud of you. <laughs> it's, it's tough out here. It's tough out here for a girly, but we're, we're making it and that's what counts. Um, I don't really know what to do with this page. This is another life study of this like girl who was looking really just, she was having a really, a really big moment, feeling very angsty in her fancy antique chair and I got bored of it. Um, but she's, she's just really not feeling it. And there's some other studies I was doing. Some flamingos. The Save My Fish is from, I went to the aquarium with my coworker and they had these like, <laughs> Like the old small flat screen TVs, like the cheap ones, they had them around in the aquarium and they had like a slideshow of stock images. I'm gonna draw this tip mouse. Um, of like stock images of like random animals, like snakes and like orangutans and stuff. And <laughs> it just said saved by a fish underneath in like red Times New Roman font. And I just thought that was fantastic. Um, I assume it was because like the aquarium like donation thing was like partnered with a zoo or something but it just it made me laugh i thought it was good just kidding i don't like the tip mouse um i don't know what to put there and i feel like that is for a future me problem let's just draw something new i think that's going to be the move um i don't know what to draw so we're just gonna kind of go nuts with it um i don't even know what's been going on i feel like I usually end up drawing on whatever's happening, but I'm just kind of, I don't know. I have been thinking um, because, and this like occurred to me really recently, because people like sometimes will ask me like, about my process, right? Which kind of makes me giggle because I'm like, well, <laughs> I don't know. I, I honestly feel like my art so much is just like a byproduct of me. <laughs> Like, I'm gonna be honest, sometimes I feel like I'm not doing any art at all just because I'm so used to working on my sketchbook. Um, but I was thinking about it, the question, and I was like, well, how, how long have I been doing this and what does my process actually look like? And I remembered that um, when I was like 13 or 14, which should be against the Geneva Convention, it's an insanely difficult year of life. Um, I, I was having a rough time for a number of different reasons, and I had bought a little tiny, like, travel-sized breakfast journal, if you've ever heard of those. It was kind of, like, popular back then, back in the day. I don't know if they still make them. Um, and it's just, like, a little book that has these little props, like, I don't know, rub dirt on this page, or melt wax, or draw with your left hand. Um, and because it was, like, the travel-sized one, it had, like, all these prompts on, like, you know, interacting with the world, like tear this out and staple it to a billboard or like not billboard, like a bulletin board or something, or um, write secrets on these and hide them somewhere. Um, and I just remember like, that was such a nice project for me at the time. And it was really, really grounding. Just having like, not just like a little physical project, but one that helped me to connect with the world around me in a time where that was hard. And it also was like, very liberating and very like what's the word it was like unapologetically creative like you are going to break the rules or you're not doing this right and i i can't help but feel like that has stayed with me i have to something i want to do with that before i end this video but i <laughs> somehow i feel like that made an impact on me <laughs> um somewhere along the way but yeah, I, I just remember, if I ever find it, I don't know where the heck it is, I just probably forgot about it, but if I ever find it, I would love to do a little tour of it, but I just remember that being a very bright thing for me in an otherwise kind of difficult time, and I think ever since then, I just haven't been afraid to be kind of crazy in my sketchbooks, and uh, just that sort of 
go crazy with it mentality really spoke to me and still does. So it's a little bit of a little bit of lore. Whoever makes the Rectus journals, I think it, is that a Carrie Smith thing? I, I maybe. Uh, thanks. <laughs> if you're out there. It just, it really, it really was a neat little project for me to have. And it, it just, it gave me to like cling to, you know, like my little, my little side quest, my little side quest book was always there no matter where I was, which was very awesome. I cannot stop drawing rabbits. <laughs> Every time I sit down to draw something new, I end up drawing a rabbit. It's just, it's just rabbit time right now. What can I say? Big believer in rabbits. I'm gonna do another one over here. But yeah, so that was kind of a, kind of a big part of my artistic journey. Um, it's, it's weird to think about art. It's weird to think about my own relationship to it. Like my own art and then like other people's. Um, another thing I was thinking about recently, uh, is like, I just, and my attention span is bad for a lot of reasons, right? But I kind of noticed that I feel like I don't know if I, hmm, I was going to say consume, but even that I feel like is sort of part of the problem. When I look at other people's art, especially like if I'm on my phone, I feel like sometimes it's really easy for me to just like be very passive about that in a way that I wouldn't want people to be passive about looking at something that I made. Um, you know, it's just, it's really easy to like see something I really like, even if it's like, I resonate with it so deeply. It's like, okay, I'll reblog it or send it to a friend or, you know, pause on it before I keep scrolling. But it's hard to stay in that moment, you know? It's, it's hard to, to really like lend myself to, I guess, sitting with it in a way that I feel like we should with art because it takes so much time to make, you know? <laughs> like I know how much like of yourself can go into that. And so it kind of like, it kind of bugs me that it's so easy to just be passive about, especially visual art. And there's also just so much of it that can be kind of overwhelming. Um, I don't know what the solution to something like that even is. Uh, I know recently with like music, I started checking out CDs at the library which has led to me listening to some really mediocre albums. <laughs> um, oh, I can't even remember. There was a lyric in the other one like I was driving to and I was just like, I have to, I have to, I have to go. I have to, I have to le leave my car and let it burn because I just can't be here anymore. Um, it's tainted now. Uh, it was like, oh, I, I, if I remember, I'll edit it in or something. <laughs> But it has been like, I don't know, cool to kind of force myself to spend more time with like entire albums instead of just like putting my giant like 8,000 billion song playlist on shuffle all the time and spacing out to it. Not that there's, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I just, it is, it is fun to kind of slow down in any way I can. Cause I just, I feel like everything just moves really fast, <laughs> you know? Um, my brain moves really fast and like these feeds move really fast and it's hard to just <sighs> slow down just take a breath and just like exist you know it's tough it's tough to do it's tough to find the time to do and honestly it can be kind of stressful to do <laughs> it can be kind of almost painful to not be like constantly inundated with like things happening and like you know even um even when i'm drawing or making art sometimes i have to have like a billion things on and i i, I just feel like it's hard to pause it's hard to like it's it, it's tough you know it's tough but um it's I, I do feel like it's worth trying to keep doing even when it's difficult uh but yeah I, there's not like a thesis to that. Just something I'm thinking about. You know, I, I wanna try and pause when I see something I really like and think about it and stay with it, you know? I wish I was like super rich so I could just buy like prints of every single beautiful piece of art I see. I think that'd be awesome. Everybody give me all of your money so I can spend, <laughs> spend it on other people's art. 
<laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. Please don't give me all your money. You need to survive. You need to go buy art that you like if you can afford it. I'm kidding, but anyways. We got bunnies and CDs. That is the theme of this page. Is bunnies, bunnies and CDs. Don't even worry because they're here. Like I hear and then my brain just like turns off. Um, I'm like, I have a very low tolerance for like, um, really like facetious, pretentious stuff. Um, especially cause like sometimes you read things by people and uh, my professor has a word for it, just like crit speak, where it's just like, so, and this isn't so much in like, if you're like a technical expert of like biology or something where it's like, you need to have a level of jargon because it's, it's like what you're specializing in, but like in some like, cause I'm, I'm a humanities person, you know, I'm doing a lot of like history and English stuff. And uh, sometimes you're reasoning and you're just like, girl, you've got to, you, you've got to get back to earth here just like a little bit because none of the words you're saying mean anything. <laughs> it kind of makes me want to bite you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I have been like having a really good time with it though. I, I really like a lot of the stuff I'm reading. Um, I have a class where we're talking about um, like the specific role of art in a lot of different like civil rights movements, which has been just really, really awesome. And it's exposed me to a lot of really great protest songs, which I only knew a couple of. And I have to say, I'm having a great time. There's nothing better than having one of those on when you're commuting to work. I'm just saying. <laughs> Uh, it's like the ultimate sing-along. I like the bunny CD page. I think it's coming along quite silly. I should find some, um, I definitely have some kind of like holographic paint or I could use, use tin foil and do like a fun like CD texture where it's like kind of holographic. I think that would be very fun. This would even be fun to like paint. We'll see. And we'll see where our hearts take us. I don't think that's a project for today, but I at least have a sketch down when I want to make this a little crazier. <laughs> CD bunnies. Yeah, I like that. That's fun. Okay, um, I don't know what he should be saying. I, I really want to put another bird here. I'm just gonna do this one, this Scarlet Tanager, which I love Scarlet Tanagers so much. Um, every time I see them, there's not like a lot of super, super colorful birds around where I live, except for like Tanagers and Orioles. Whenever I see them, I'm just like, baby, are you lost? You are so colorful. <laughs> but I just, I feel like it has to be like a yellow or a brown bird or a green bird um, just to fit the vibe, which I'm sorry. There will be another home for him. Um, this page, I feel like I could really do something with also. I like how there's like the fish here and then the fish here. It's a swan feather, I don't know what to do with. Um, there was a page I was going to and then I forgot. Oh, I was gonna, where is she? <laughs> I need a table of contents. This one, yeah. I feel like I want to do. Ooh, no, no, no! Don't tear! Don't tear! Don't tear! <gasps> Froggy. Okay, we're not gonna touch her. She's delicate. She's delicate. <laughs> but I, I do want to add a little more to this page. Um, but I don't know if I have the materials to. Did I bring? One moment. Ooh, wait. The blends. I wish there wasn't so much gold happening in here, but I got it from a men's fashion magazine, so <laughs> they couldn't give the illusion that men can enjoy color, I guess. Same with there was um I, I took a uh <laughs> I took a like a picture of oh here it is. Of like some paint and it's all like subdued. And like muted. It can't be too fun. That would be a disaster. 
This needs to be pinked up though. It's, you know what, let's use, let's use an oil pastel for that. We're using the good old fashioned artist love. My fellow girlies on a budget, we know them well. Yeah, that's better. This sticker was just like out on a table. We had like a bunch of them for free and it kind of made me laugh. <laughs> it's just like so aggressive for no reason. <laughs> um, let's see. This, oh, this page is kind of turning loose. Oh, you see, but I could, I kind of like that secret door. Okay. No, it's, it's staying like that actually. And plus the Garfield's there. I thought the Garfield was lost forever. I'm not going to lie. Cause somebody told me to put Garfield there and then I did. And then I, he, I thought he'd fallen out, but he's resurrected. Thank goodness. And then I can find some more fun things to put back here. I could put some of the garden from earlier. And I'll keep an eye out for some more. I bet you we can find. Oh yeah. We can celebrate him. I went to Goodwill and found, um, and I know Goodwill is not the best. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm really not immune. Um, I found this scrapbooking set there and I didn't realize it was going to be more than just like a few letter stickers and like a random pattern piece of paper. There was like all these old silly like Easter stained glass stickers and I am like so obsessed with them. I have a really specific idea in mind. Well, okay. I don't have a specific idea in mind, but I have a specific vibe in mind and I am quite excited about it. There we go. There he is. He's literally so in there. <laughs> um, this page needs a little TLC also. I don't know what I was planning there. <laughs> but again, I don't know if I have the supplies for that at the moment. That's okay. That's the fun part. It's like, I like starting a page and then knowing that like I can keep my eye out for things that remind me of it. I think I have the tool that I use for this. And this, I like absentmindedly accidentally made a very similar drawing to this. <laughs> just with like, I, just a random lady. But I, I drew it and I was like, wait, wait a second. I went on autopilot. time do we have left? Uh, we have a little bit of time. Let's, you know, let's maybe we can look for some <laughs> scary or ominous things to add to this. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's a goldfinch. Hi. Wait, 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 oh my god, okay. We got there. Ominousness is cancelled. Whimsy is in. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I love a good goldfinch. Yellow birds in general just feel very special to me. They're so sweet. Birds are crazy. Like, I sometimes look at them and, like, not to sound like, <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I just, like, sometimes look at them and I'm like, how are you real? Like, you are so beautiful and you have your own little life and your own little thoughts and you look like that. Like, come on. Come on. Okay. Um, yeah, baby. Okay. Wow. Um, my heart, like, stopped. Oh my gosh, he's so perfect. He's literally so perfect. The question is, do I want to like... Yeah, I think I do. Yes. What are they gonna be saying? What are they saying? What does it all mean? I feel like I don't want to come up with it on the spot because this page is important to me. <laughs> but when I do the finished tour of this, 
we will all know what these birds have to say. And we're gonna be so much better for it. We're gonna be wiser, we're gonna be kinder, we're gonna be smarter. It's all going to make sense. But we just don't know yet. Oh wow, that was exciting. This page is so nothing. <laughs> Maybe we can focus on that. If I look at the Abaddon magazine, I'm gonna go crazy. The birds make me nuts. They're so pretty. Okay. Um, yeah, I I don't, these are Neopets, but they, the doodles came out really ugly. <laughs> I shouldn't say ugly, not in the spirit of things. They didn't come out the way I want them to. And that's okay, because I was like half asleep and it's fine. <laughs> we have to make bad art if we're going to ever make good art. Right, right, correct. Um, but these are annoying me. <laughs> it's, it's very, it's very funny. I clearly have not outgrown my Neopets phase yet. This stint is lasting a lot longer than I usually have these sort of interests. It, it goes dormant and then I remember it and then I fall right back down the rabbit hole. <laughs> you know, in the, uh, back on like the topic of, um, these, like, just like art on the internet, you know? I really do kind of feel like <laughs> Neopets makes me think about that. You know, I grew up playing Neopets and you know, in a lot of ways, I kind of grew up in the digital art space. You know, I was raised by wolves or no, <laughs> I wasn't raised by wolves. I was raised by like rainbow multicolored dogs. <laughs> um, but yeah, it it's funny. It's funny to look back on. Um, because I feel like I can I can navigate like the online art world pretty okay, but it, it still kind of makes me feel weird sometimes. Just like I get kind of tired of like I don't know being told that I have to appease some sort of algorithm. I don't I don't really like being told what to do. <laughs> um, oh, this is pretty. This kind of has a very similar vibe to this picture of a puddle that I took. But this makes this look washed out when it's a very beautiful picture, so I wouldn't want to do that to her. So that's okay. The colors of this just like spoke to me immediately. I didn't even really think about that one very hard. I just decided then and there that that was happening. Um, ooh, the, the tanager moment could happen here. Does she like have a little like rainbow disco? tinfoil moment or an under the sea oh yeah under the sea she has an under the sea moment for sure <laughs> oh no not the soldiers war is over we're turning over a new tanager it's all okay now i fixed it i fixed war right well no she she fixed war Um, okay, oh, this could go on this page. Oh, 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 I don't even remember when I got these. I do need to make a sticker run again soon. All right, this guy is so so silly. Positively sillied up. No, no, he, he doesn't stand out there at all. Maybe he doesn't go on this page. Maybe he needs a spotlight where he can actually shine. But, oh wait, maybe he can go with Garfield. Hold on. Love that for us. There's a little crab on here, are you kidding me? Ugh, that's awesome. But I feel like we need to see the pink theme happening. The Lando Lake's butter moment is a little too intense. She needs to be kind of blended in here a little bit. Cool, 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 cool. 
right, we're at 30 minutes somehow. So I am going to call this quits. Uh, we have quite a few new little things happening. Um, didn't get any new mouths and jaws and eyes, but we have some progress on some of these pages. I'm so excited about the goldfinch, deeply excited. We've got some lemurs happening. We've got some bunnies and some CDs. And I'm feeling good about that. I'm feeling very positive about what's happening here. So thank you very much for stopping by and making some art with me. And I will see you very soon. All right, thank you and take care. I'll see ya.